Let's use our power of fascination. So all of you want to help the poor, you know the best way to help the poor. Don't be one of them. You can't help the sick by getting sick. You cannot help the criminal by becoming a criminal. You cannot help negative situations by becoming a part of the problem. You must be a part of the answer. Now we're going to use this stuff. We're going to use this stuff right here, right now. Say with me, I'm going to use this stuff right here, right now. And I especially feel the power of fascination. I want to say something to the young people again for a moment. And it'll work for anybody, but I feel led to do this. You youngsters who are going to school, or you youngsters who should be going to school, decide what you want to be in life. Decide what you want to have in life. And become fascinated with that idea. Look around in the world and pick out those people who are being, doing, and having that which you wish to be, to do, and to have. And become fascinated with them. And it works not only for young people. It works for everybody. If you want to change your lifestyle, again, you know, I'm, a, I'm big at going to magazine stands. I buy some of everything. Because I know how to use these things without these things using me. And that's what you have to learn, you see. Possibly wouldn't pay some of you to even get some of the literature that I get because it might use you. This is why you have to come to a point of self-mastery first. See, I'll get the newspaper, but I no longer permit the newspaper to use me. I won't call the name of the paper, but I picked it up this morning. Looked on the front page, all the killing and the murder and the terror and the horror. I said, I don't want that, but I'll take out the entertainment section and find out if there's anything worth seeing while I'm here. So you see, in that way, I'm using it. I'm not letting it use me. There may be something specific there that I want to know. I may want to find out. There may be some specific bit of information that I want from this magazine or from this paper. And I'll use it. And this is the way of self-mastery in this world. But young people, become fascinated with that which you wish to be. Look for those people who are being, doing, and having the good. And say to yourself, that's me. If you want to change your lifestyle, get those periodicals that deal with a certain lifestyle. If you want to travel, get those travel magazines. Go to the travel agency and just get those brochures or wherever you want to go and put them up so that you can see them. Become fascinated with this. And the power of your fascination will lead you across a bridge of events to the fulfillment of that which you're fascinated with. Place your hands in a receptive position. Repeat this with me. I now use the power of fascination. I now use the power of fascination. My power of fascination. My power of fascination. To be what I want to be. To do what I want to do. And to have what I want to have. I am fascinated with the idea of health. I'm fascinated with the idea of being well. I am intensely interested in being healthy and strong. I am fascinated with the idea of being eternally youthful. No matter how many birthdays I have, youthfulness fascinates me. I don't need any sickness to take me out of this world. I don't need to drag out when I go out. I intend to skip out. I intend to shout on my way. With health. I am fascinated with health. And I draw health into my experience. And I draw health into my experience. The fascination with health is a healing power to me. Right now. God in me is my health. Right now. I am fascinated with the idea of happiness. I'm not interested in the blue. I'm not interested in sadness. 
from badness. I'm fascinated with gladness. The joy of the Lord is my strength. I like to be around happy people. I go where people are happy. I try to cheer everybody up. But those who don't want to be cheerful, I leave them alone. I will not talk sad talk. I will not stick around sad sacks. I'm fascinated by happiness. And I spread my happiness throughout the universe. Uplifting everyone everywhere. Thank you, God, in me. I am fascinated by love. I am fascinated by brotherhood. I am fascinated with the idea of people loving one another. Regardless of race, creed, our color. I am fascinated with the idea that we are all God's children. Thank you, God, in me. I'm fascinated with the idea of loving and being loved. In divine order, the fascination of love draws all of the right people into my life. By every right purpose of love. Thank you, God, in me. For love. I'm fascinated by success and prosper. God has never flopped. God has never failed. God has never been bankrupt. God has never been unsuccessful. In God, I am a success. I move from success to success. I move from prosperity to prosperity. I see myself using new ideas to prosper me and others. I am fascinated by successful people. I'm always glad to see someone prosper. I'm happy for the rich. God bless them. They show me what I can be. They show me what I can do. They show me what I can have. I am fascinated by the better things of life. I am fascinated by money. I'm not ashamed to say that I'm interested in money. I'm interested in the good that I can do with money. I can do good for myself with money. I can do good for others with money. I can do good for my loved ones with money. I can do good for everybody with money. I can do good in my affairs with money. I don't have to do evil with money. And I'm not interested in money for negative reasons. Money is wonderful stuff. I am fascinated by money. I see money as my obedient servant. For every good purpose. And in my mind, through the eye of faith, I see myself having more money than I have ever had. 
I see money just pouring in. Come on, say that with your hands and voices this time. Come on. I see money just pouring in. You have got it. I see money pouring in from new directions. I see myself enjoying money in new ways. I see money coming to me in new exciting ways. I am excited about money. And now money, you're welcome in my life. You're welcome to fill my hand. You're welcome to fill my pocket. Come on, open up here as you say this. You're welcome to fill my hands. Money, you're welcome to fill my pockets. Come on now, you magnetize those pockets here. Loose here. Money, you're welcome to fill my bank account. You're welcome to fill my checking account. Money, you're welcome under my mattress. You're welcome in the cookie jar. Money, you're welcome in my bosom. In my shoes. In my underwear. In my belt. Money, you're welcome everywhere. I am fascinated with money. And I am now magnetized with money. I am magnetized for money. And I draw it unto me. And the money is just holding it. I'm fascinated by the idea of making something greater out of myself. I'm fascinated with the idea of being greater. Doing greater. And having greater. Thank you, God, in me for this power of fascination.